Hello everybody, welcome back to Larry's Fountain Pens. I'm Larry the Pen Bug Guy, and today's the day that I finally have made the decision to say, hey, it's time to do the Duraflex, Conklin Duraflex. So, I've been uh, playing around with the pen a while, I've used it, uh, so I'm going to give you my uh, opinion on what I think of the pen. So, here we go. Here's the Duraflex. Real quick, they made uh, 1,898 of the pens, so it's a limited edition. And uh, it comes just like you see it here. So let's take it out of the little box. Uh, as you see, the Duraflex limited edition on the other side. It's got the nib. That's this really is a cool nib. I like the way the nib is shaped. So I was impressed with it. And that's about it for the sleeve. Okay. So here's your standard Conklin uh, leather pin case, which I I do like. And uh, if you've seen one, you're going to see them all because they all look the same. Open it up. Same thing for the bed. They're all the same type. Here is that beautiful pen. Underneath it, it comes with a couple of cartridges, the warranties, etc. All the info you need. So, let's get down to business. Here's what all the <clears throat> talk is about. The Conklin Duraflex pen. Beautiful, stunning fountain pen. The question is, is it worth the money? Well, I'll let you determine that and I'll give them my review on this fountain pen. First of all, uh, I got the 151 of the 1,898 of the pens. Beautiful black resin. Gorgeous. And I really like the uh, rose gold trim that it has. Beautiful rose gold trim. And the clip. Nice clip. I've used it in my pocket. Really nice. And I, I do like the band, that rose colored band. And it does have the Conklin. It has the Conklin on the band. And on the back of it, do a do a graph. So it really is a sharp looking pen. And uh, as you go up the cap, there's another little rose gold band that's connected to the clip. And on top of the band, right there in the finial, you have the Conklin with the year. So let's go down the barrel. And down the barrel. If you can see, it is a Duraflex and it gives a uh, limited edition 0151 of 1898. I like that on it. That looks sharp. As you go down the barrel, there's another <coughs> uh, rose gold band at the bottom. So, and it gets somewhat thinner as you go down. Really nice looking fountain pen. Really, it really just sings beauty because the pen is a good looking pen. I'm impressed so far. You with me? <clears throat> All right, so let's go ahead and open it up and let's see what we have inside. Here's what the talk is all about. The nib. Good shot of that nib. See how that nib is designed. I think it's pretty cool. And then I'll show you the best I can on the feed. And once again, here's the pen. Really looks great. Great looking pen. I like the nib. The black nib matches the fountain pen. It really works all well together. They did a good job on that. 
Now, does a pen post? Well, yes, it does. And it feels really great in the hand. No problems at all. It's uh, not top heavy, at least for me it's not. And uh, it looks sharp. Or, for those who prefer not to post their pens, uh, it works fine. But if you have large hands, I don't think those will work for you. It may. Uh, so let's go down the barrel. And there's uh, there's really not a step off here. You can feel where the cap screws on to the threads. But they're not sharp or nothing. They don't get in the way. They're not uncomfortable. So as you go down to the grip, it's not a big grip, but it's uh, big enough for my fingers. And if you have large fingers, chunky fingers, uh, you might hold it right there. And uh, you're not going to have any problem uh, putting your fingers there or even here. Uh, it's, it's comfortable for you. So uh, let's unscrew the barrel. And it comes with a converter. I've already inked it up and been using this uh, pin so it's almost out of ink and remember it's a screw in screw off there should be enough ink in there left to do a little bit of writing but like I've said I've already inked this pin up twice what does that say okay so nice pin I'm impressed with the pin so far so uh, the uh, body length is uh, 4.9 inches. The cap length is 2.5 inches. The nib is 0 0.9 inches. The overall, overall length closed is 5.5 inches. Posted, you get a 6.9 inch. And uh, the weight of the pen is about 26 grams. Now, the amount of ink that the converter holds... Uh, is a 1.04 mil and for the cartridge is 1.06 mils uh, in cartridges or converter standard you can get in there and uh, switch them out play out do what you want so you have a lot of options there if you're the converter type cool not you have the cartridges cool you're good to go so now, now is the time we do the writing. And I'm going to be using a new ink. And this is the only color I have to show. Krishna Jungle Volcano. That's a new one I picked up at the Pin Thing store. Really, that's a really beautiful ink. Gorgeous ink. Uh, when Brian from the Pen Think Store sent it to me, it was immediately, it was love. It was a connection. So, I got it, and I'm glad I did. So, enough talk. Let's get to the writing. That's what we're here for now. Beautiful fountain pen, is it not? Now, remember, this is a $60 pen. So, I've already done some writing using the Tomo River paper, and this is what it looks like. And uh, we'll do it again, and I'll work from this end downwards. And we're going to do uh, just some lines. That's no pressure. Now we're going to do a little bit of pressure. A little bit more. See that? There you go. It does flex. <clears throat> now this is no flex. <clears throat> this is was with flex. With flex. Again. That's flexing. And 
I'm flexing. And I can't write and talk at the same time, so forgive me. So, the pen did well. It didn't have no bad starts, no skips, no... It just, it was on the money. Is it a super great flex pen? No. Uh, people have compared it with the uh, Noodlers. Uh, Noodlers, I, I do like the Noodlers flex pen. And I do love this flex nib. Is it worth $60? Definitely. In my opinion, I'm glad I bought it. I was having a time to figure out do I want this pen or not? Because, you know, I don't really flex much. But I'm starting to get into the game of flexing. And I was hesitant for a while. There's already been Buku reviews out there. And I wasn't worried about the Buku reviews. I'll do my own review. But I had to find out, for me, is this pen all that good? Well... I would never know it until I bought it and tried it, so I did, and I'm glad I did. For wetness, it is a wet pen. That's what I love about this pen. Still wet. Look at that. And as I was talking, see there? It is a wet pen. I love it. It's a juicy pen. Let's go up here for a minute, Mr. Announcer, where I did that. See there? wet nice and wet so this pen we do a few s's here look at that it's a great fun pen and i'm flexing and let me put some more paper down it be a little easier to write than on the board and that's flexing we're going to flex some more And that's with some pressure. This, uh, this again is with no pressure. You see the difference? That's flex. No flex. Big difference. So, uh, I'm going to do uh, some uh, pin comparison. So here's the pilot vanishing point. And about the same size about the same length they're, they're pretty close and here's a pelican m800 of course the dura flex it has more girth to it but then here's the conklin dura graph right here about the same size yep they are look at there i hope this helps you with the pin comparison so that's it you know uh in my opinion, this is a, this is a very profound pen. The, the, the look is really great. Uh, it just, uh, it, it, you know, this is kind of pen for me, I would take to the office because if I want to flex it, I would. If I didn't, I wouldn't. I, I've been taking notes with it, been writing letters with it. And I've had no problems, none whatsoever with this pen. That's why I've taken my time to give a review on it, because I wanted to be dead sure that this pen was going to be all that, and I didn't miss anything. So, there it is. I hope this pen helped you decide whether or not it was right for you, because it's your money. And I'm talking to the people who didn't get one of these pins yet. I think they're still available. I'm not sure. But remember, we're different. I may like something that you may not like or vice versa. Or, or we may meet together and say, hey, we both like it. But I like this pen. 60 bucks is well worth it for this pen. I have no regrets whatsoever on buying this pen. I've heard some people say, 
the pen's not worth it. It's not a good flexor. I've heard a lot of negative remarks. And that's okay because that is their opinion and I respect that. This is my opinion. A great fountain pen. You get a great, valuable, great, fun, flexing pen. And it's not going to bust the bank as well. All right, I'm going to wrap it up. And I hope you found this review helpful. And that's all there is to it. If you like the review, I mean really digging it, like I have, hit that thumbs up. Leave your comments below. But please, don't be rude. Be constructive. If you like the pen, I want to know. If you didn't like the pen, I'd like to know your comments. So, until our next review, be safe, my friends. Take care. Remember, don't text and drive. God bless. Take care. Later, folks.